Hey, Greg here at AEMC Instruments. I'm our certified technical trainer. We're going to go over an alternative method to fall of potential called the slope method or ground resistance test. Slope is used for large ground systems or anytime we can't get our H probe outside of the area of influence of our system that's under test. So we could use slope to test a substation ground map that's gonna be commissioned. We could also use slope where I don't have a lot of space where fall of potential is not going to be practical. Originally described by the author G.F. Tag in 1970, slope requires us to take three measurements of our H spacing, one at 20, 40, and 60%. And this allows us to establish a slope coefficient. Using that slope coefficient, we can then reference a table, establish a decimal multiplier, and understand where we need to locate our S electrode in order to take a resistance measurement of our ground system. We've made things easier here at AEMC by giving you access to our automated slope calculator, which you can find at aemc.com. This calculator is field ready and can be loaded onto a phone or a computer and will allow you to perform the slope calculation with all the steps laid out and ready to go. You can access the calculator on the AEMC website by following these steps. Go to the AEMC.com website and select resources in the top navigation section. Select calculators under the filter dropdown and click the find now button to display a full list of calculators. Look for and select the slope method calculation, an automated way of calculating the S electrode placement when using the slope method. Selecting it will automatically download it to your computer. Once downloaded, you can open the calculator and immediately use it or save it for later use. Also, we've placed a direct link to the calculator at the bottom of the video for easy access. Now you're viewing the calculator. You'll see that the yellow cells are interable the red cells are locked and display the results of the calculation. Enter the distance to H to establish the three measurement positions. A quick note before proceeding, like fall of potential, the slope method should only be done on an isolated system. Other bonded electrodes, like those would be connected via a utility neutral, will influence the measurement and invalidate the results. Be sure that you isolate your system before performing testing we'd be remiss if we didn't let you know that AEMC also has testing instrument solutions for systems that can't be isolated. Contact technical support or get in touch with your nearby AEMC sales engineer or distributor for details. First, we've placed our H electrode out to 70 feet. We've artificially capped the distance to remain inside the area of influence of our ground ring. Ideally, you'd go two to three times the longest diagonal of your system under test. However, place your H electrode out as far as possible. With the H placed, we will now take measurements at 20, 40, and 60% of that H distance. These values were established by the creator of the slope method. Using the slope calculator, we will establish a slope coefficient using these three measurements. Now we are placing the S electrode to each of the three measurements at 20, 40, and 60%. With each measurement, we are collecting the resistance value and entering it into the calculator. These three measurements do not establish the resistance value of the system, rather allow us to calculate the slope, which is referred to by the Greek letter mu. After plugging in R1, R2, and R3 measurements, the calculator provides you slope. In our example, slope equals 0.857. This will be used to determine the decimal multiplier as represented by PT divided by C, which stands for potential terminal divided by current terminal, the value used to calculate the S electrode spacing. Next, select the table tab at the bottom of the sheet and locate the decimal multiplier for the potential electrode value 
for the calculated slope coefficient. This is a combination of the decimals under the coefficient column, and then the final decimal, the thousandth value, locate it to find the correct coefficient value. At this point, we have located the decimal multiplier using the table. Add the decimal multiplier to the calculator to establish the last measurement, which will be the effective system resistance. This will now show you that the calculated distance of the S electrode placement. In our example, the S electrode should be spaced out to 40 feet from the ground system under test. The S calculated value is displayed in the orange cell. Now that we have our S electrode distance from our ground system, let's take a final measurement. We'll place the S electrode at the calculated value to get the effective ground resistance of the system. Here, the effective resistance value of the system is 25.4 ohms. AEMC Instruments recommends that you repeat these steps in various tests to ensure accuracy. One variation to verify accuracy is to turn the test 90 degrees or a minimum of 30 degrees and repeat. This measurement allows you to validate the others against the original test. Another verification test that could be performed would be to reduce the distance of H, retest at 20, 40, and 60%, and repeat the slope calculator process. These measurements should be within a few percentage points of each other. The AEMC slope calculator makes it easier to perform ground resistance tests confidently and obtain reliable results. Additionally, it eliminates any confusion that may arise while setting up the test and positioning poles correctly. So you've seen how the AEMC slope resistance calculator makes things easy and gives you the ability to calculate and take reliable results. If you have further questions or would like to see other videos on different measurements or AEMC test instruments, please contact us at marketing at I'm Greg with AEMC Instruments. Measure up.